Wonder Egg Priority is my favorite new anime this season. Even with its slightly off-putting name, in only six episodes, the series has been able to explore some really complex ideas in a really refreshing way. In this video, I want to break down some of the basic elements that make it interesting and hopefully convince you to watch it if you haven't already, while shedding some light on the incredible work being done on the series. Wonder Egg Priority is an original anime by Cloverworks Studio. What is pretty incredible to me is the quality of animation and strong direction it has versus the other works the studio has put out this year, including Promise Neverland Season 2, which seems to be screwing up in every way imaginable. The director Sin Wakabashi doesn't seem to have too much directional experience, but has worked on two of my favorite titles ever, being a key animator for a handful of episodes in Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood and directing the 18th episode episode of Attack on Titan, which actually happens to be one of my favorites in the series. He is paired with writer Shinji Nojima, who has just recently made the transition from live action to animated screenwriting. Now, there are many other factors that go into this, but I think this is where the fresh feeling of the series comes from. You have a director who has worked on some very acclaimed projects in the anime industry, paired with a screenwriter who has made his name outside of that industry, but in a storytelling medium that focuses so much on well writing. And I think this combination of the two allows them to really use the medium of animation to its fullest potential. And boy does Wonder Egg Priority use animation incredibly well. Wonder Egg Priority tells the story of Ai Oto after the suicide of her only friend Kyoto. Ai's struggling to understand why Kyoto took her own life, has stopped going to school, and has fallen into a pretty severe depression. After meeting a mysterious entity, Ai gets roped into buying a Wonder Egg. This egg allows Ai to go into a world in her sleep where the egg hatches into a person. She is then tasked with saving this person from these nightmarish creatures and then the boss that takes the final form of the person's biggest fear from who she's trying to save. And she does this in hopes that she will be able to bring back Kyoto. The series deeply focuses on survivor's guilt and the trauma that comes along with not totally understanding why someone you are so close with might take their own life. And this is some pretty heavy stuff that the series takes on, so of course a trigger warning is in order. I do think though the series takes a very caring approach to the subject matter as it explores how we deal with different kinds of trauma. And certainly the most immediate selling point to watch the show is the animation. Every frame is gorgeous, and the action scenes especially are beautifully brought to life. I love how light and colorful the animation is, juxtaposing the very heavy plot lines of the series. The animation really hits home that this series is focused on younger kids dealing with trauma, and that optimism that often comes along in your childhood is present in every single frame. The series also does an amazing job at blurring the line between what is real and what isn't. It takes a while to pick apart the main storyline of the show, and that is part of the fun of watching. You never really know when it's a dream or when something is real, especially when our main characters get injured in one of these dream fights, but carry those injuries when they wake up. The story of Wonder Egg Priority is set in motion through the mystery box type of storytelling. We are presented with many fantasy elements and story beats that don't quite add up right away. Within the first episode, there are many mystery boxes that raise intrigue for the viewer, but what I love most about the setup for the story is how the mystery boxes fit so well with the character arcs. This show is intently focused on trauma. Trauma is not something that is very easy to understand, especially for the person who is going through it. Like the mysteries being revealed to us, our characters are also slowly discovering their feelings on these very different subjects. Even only six episodes into the series, you can see how this pays off for a viewer by connecting you closer to the characters. The typical issue with the mystery box-driven stories is the answer is never as interesting as the question. 
but for Wonder Egg Priority, it is the opposite. When you discover an answer, it makes the characters and their motivations so much more complex. Even this quickly into the show, it is obvious that the mystery will never take away from the payoff, but only add to it. Which leads me to the most unique aspect of the series. The fantasy elements in the story seem almost out of place at first, or they at least did for me, but these elements are really what sets the story apart. Every single night, a character has to survive a horrific battle to the death. We must fight to overcome our trauma. But I do think the show is doing something a little more complex than just that. Yes, they do need to fight the personification of trauma, but they have to do it by learning how others deal with trauma. There is always a connection to be made, and the connection between the person who is no longer alive and our main characters is the driving force behind how they are able to overcome these monsters. The action in every episode helps each character slowly come to terms with the difficulties of mental health. And repression is a huge idea in this series. Each of these main characters go into their dreams and have to fight things that they're often thinking about under the surface level. And as the series goes on, the characters' ability to start talking to one another about the repressed nature of their trauma helps them start to understand and move forward with that trauma. The last aspect of the show that I love so much is the cast of characters. Ai is not the only character that we focus on, but she slowly meets more girls who are going through similar things, and together they all start to become friends and help each other out with the things that they are going through. The cast also expands to some adult characters, including Ai's mom, and they add a really unique perspective on how adults view trauma versus kids. The presence of adults in the series complicates how the kids view what is going on, and also helps add to the main mystery at the start of the show, which is why Kyoto was driven towards suicide, if there is even a concrete reason at all. But the entire cast's growing relationship is very satisfying to watch, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. In the end, these characters are able to overcome this trauma not through the violence they face in their dreams, but through a slow and difficult process of trying to understand one another. Wonder Egg Priority doesn't pretend to have all of the answers to these incredibly difficult questions. No piece of art ever could. But it does offer up a really unique and beautiful look into how we can start down the path of recovery. This is why it is my favorite new series out this season. It's a refreshing look into a topic that can often be so difficult to cover. That is why Wonder Egg Priority is incredible. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope if you haven't already, you check out Wonder Egg Priority. Uh, it is really just a stunning series. And I will be having more videos come out in the future about more seasonal anime as I'm starting to watch more seasonal anime as we go on. So thank you again for watching this video. Make sure to check out my Patreon in the link down below, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.